Hey guys, it's your mum Anna, and I'm also filming a top 10 drugstore eyeshadow palette. Uh, eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow palettes, because I actually realise I have 50 drugstore eyeshadow palettes. I don't have high-end eyeshadow palettes because they're hard to access, very expensive. In Australia and my daughter does competitive gym and dance and my sons do other sports so that's where my money goes I like makeup so I try and find the cheaper makeup that works really well so first of all I recommend I'm actually including these as one so these are designer brands which is a vegan cruelty free brand in Australia and these are <coughs> two palettes that I kind of feel are similar so this is their last year's Christmas release the all eyes on you palette <coughs> the layout is very similar to a Too Faced chocolate bar palette and um, I just think that this one is a slightly <coughs> brighter version of this one like this one maybe if the person prefers more neutral colors on and this one maybe if the person might like some fun looks both of these palettes were $15 originally so the green from the peach down there uh um just a couple of swatches from their palettes i will say designer brand palettes swatch nowhere near as well as they work on the eyes then also from designer brands we have this this is one of this year's christmas releases this is the electric dreams palette obviously it's set up differently to last year's one um huge pan sizes this is like the whole brand is vegan and cruelty free, but this is part of the talc free eyeshadow formula range. So it is that middle row there. The only really terrible color in this one is off grid. It just won't stick or pick up any other color, but the rest of them are beautiful, especially that really deep bronze called Spark Up. This one is available for $17.99, and yet the pan sizes are huge there. That one looks to me a bit like a Jeffree Star palette. Not that I've ever dealt with any of those. Then I also have the Maybelline Burgundy Bar. So this was from there. Which collection from Maybelline was this from? Um, oh, I'm not sure. It, it's like, you know, the blushed nudes and when they were trying to dupe naked palettes and then, like, this is not attempting to dupe anything. But no one really spoke about this one and I think this is their best go at this sort of formula so far. It is those two burgundy swatches there. The great the end isn't, but, yeah, I absolutely love this one. The palette has changed design slightly you know, when they went to the ultimate nudes and then the blush nudes and then um, rock on nudes. And yeah, I think this is the best one. Then we'll go to W7. And this is their Life's a Peach, which is a dupe, I believe, of the Too Faced Peachy Mattes palette. So this is an entirely matte palette. I like having this one in my collection because a lot of drugstore palettes do shimmers a lot better than mattes. And this is like, I, I personally think this is W7's best eyeshadow palette so those shades there are all from this collection so the colors come out nicely it's smooth it's not too chunky this is their best eyeshadow formula it's different to the mattes that are in their other palettes and i'm not sure why but i really enjoy this palette also from w7 we have their blazon which was a dupe of naked heat um i think life's a peach came out after this but this is like their shimmer shadows have always been their best shadows, but this entire palette I thought was quite good. It's, sorry, it's those shades there and it's lovely. This is from Astralis and this is their Halo Eyes collection. So this palette is just really meant for doing one particular look, but I love the green in it. So it's that olive green there the gold and see how the silver shadow in this palette that one there has really picked up whereas the same version the other palette the other um talc free designer brands palette i showed you it's in the middle of those two oranges just hasn't at all so it is possible to do it so it will pick up color but it just didn't from essence the in love with rose is my new favorite their shimmer shadows are beautiful there they are moves are like my favorite favorite so that's just great for the price that's like eight dollars which is phenomenal in australia then 
We also have NYX Contour Intuitive, which is the, the grey there, the blue, the purple and the black. So I really like this as an add-on palette, just some nice pops of colour that come out beautifully. The highlighters in here are great too. I haven't used the contour. I don't really contour because I'm so pale that they all look ridiculous on me, but it would certainly work as an eyeshadow. And then last but not least, none of these in a particular order, these are just great palettes to choose from, is the Rimmel Magnific Eyes Electric Violet Collection. I just saw the Crimson palette today, that's what I mean, we just got it. I'm really hoping to get that, the, that because I had never tried Rimmel eyeshadows prior to this collection. I saw Sabrina review this one, then when I saw it finally available here, like we only just had Spice, I was like, great! Went and got it. There they are swatched there, the ones on the bottom. And I love these shadows. I love these colours. I've been having a great time with it. And the last one I've got, that's the last one I've got. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, because I included the designer brands ones as one palette. So I hope you enjoy this and find it helpful. I hope you get one of these palettes. Um, please let me know if you do and if you enjoy it. Please let me know if you think I'd like your channel. Please comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.